Good morning. Oh, come on. Good morning. Wow, it really is that early. So I'm Brian MacDonald. I'm the Chief Technology Officer for Pearson School Systems. How many of you were here last year? OK, so you, uh, you get a redo of the keynote. You got to see me last year. I'm thrilled to be back here. I love coming to South Carolina. And we've got some great things to talk with you about today. But first, I want to talk a little bit about PSU. Welcome all of you on behalf of Pearson. Now, this is definitely a uh, South Carolina crowd. And uh, of course, South Carolina was our first statewide deployment of power school. So we're really glad to be back here in Charleston. But we do have people from, uh, from around the country. And whoever came from Oregon, my hat is off to you. <laughs> and for the rest of you, don't tell that person about PSU Chicago or PSU San Diego. Um, but uh, we also have four people here from outside the US. So we have a good international crowd. Uh, we tend to get a really big international crowd at our PowerSchool University Chicago next week. So you guys are the second of four PSUs. But if you look around the room, there are uh, almost 400 of you here today. And this is a great opportunity for you to network with each other and to really help expand your experience with PowerSchool by taking advantage of those folks that are in the room. We also have a huge staff here from Pearson. So all the folks around with the blue PowerSchool University shirts on, they're all staff here. They're ready to help you out, make sure that you get the most of your experience here at PSU. And we really pride ourselves on having the best staff ratios of any event like this uh, anywhere in the industry. So you'll have great instructor to student ratios. There are always people here in the hub, in the hallway who can help you out. And that idea of a community is really important to us here at PowerSchool. And I want to talk just a little bit more about that. The first thing I want to share with you is how you've helped us really build that PowerSchool community. And we've been incredibly successful, thanks to all of you. If you look at our growth over the years, it's just been amazing. PowerSchool's been the fastest growing student information system in the country, and we are the largest by a huge, huge margin. And in fact, sometime in the next two weeks, we're gonna break the 10 million student mark. <laughs> Thank you. We're, we're thrilled with that, not only because uh, it's great for us at Pearson, but it's really great for you because of all of the community features that are built into PowerSchool. The more of you who are using it, the better your collective experience will be. Now, from day one, PowerSchool was really about that community. We had online forums and events like this where you could support your experience. We had the product support for all kinds of sharing, custom pages, report templates, export templates. There are even companies that have appeared like Power Data Solutions that build extensions to PowerSchool using all of our customization capability. And really, we've seen this vibrant community emerge. In fact, how many of you are on PowerSource right now? And if you didn't raise your hand, you should, okay. There are 130,000 of you now on PowerSource, the largest community of its kind anywhere on the internet. But we're really taking that to the next level with uh, what we're working on this year. And I'm gonna talk about a few of these things in the next couple of minutes. But one, we're building the largest student record and transcript exchange ever. And I'll show you what that looks like in just a few minutes. We're also expanding that idea of community in PowerSchool to interoperability and APIs, which means that third parties will be able to connect to PowerSchool. The other systems that you have in your district, your transportation, your phone dialer, your library system, fees system, and billing, all those will be able to connect to PowerSchool in ways that we can't even imagine today. And in fact, we're launching a new partner program, and our goal is to have 100 PowerSchool certified partners by the end of the year, and we're well on our way to doing that. So you'll be able to pick from a huge number of other vendors and really build an entire solution for your district. We call this Community 2.0, and I think you'll be pretty excited to see what comes out. But of course, the big news, you've seen the clock, the countdown for PowerSchool 7. 
And uh, I, I'm really excited about this release. Of course, my team is a team that builds PowerSchool 7. And somewhere in the room in the back is Jeffrey Huffman, who is our director of engineering. Uh, Jeffrey, raise your hand. There you, there he is. <clears throat> so this release is really, really important to us. And I'm going to tell you exactly why. But we've been working on this for almost two years. In fact, the last time I was here, we were just about to go to beta with it. So obviously, it's been baking in the oven for a while, and we're really excited to be able to serve it out. And they're really a total rewrite of PowerSchool from the top to the bottom. So we started out with every single web page, every screen, every button, every dialog box. Everything in PowerSchool has been rebuilt. Every, uh, every page that you see, rebuilt. We've used uh, cascading style sheets. We rebuilt things with jQuery. We've got custom language tags in every page. And you're probably thinking, well, why do I care about that? Two reasons. One, it looks fantastic. Two, it's much, much faster. And it renders beautifully in every browser that you use, including on the iPad. It looks great. So that's on the top end. In the middle tier, we've removed all 4D from the product. There is zero left. It's all 100% Java. And boy, and boy, can you tell when you use it. You're going to be using PowerSchool 7 here at PowerSchool University, and every single thing you do is better. And uh, let me know if, if you don't have that reaction, but it's fantastic. And then finally, on the back end, we're upgrading to Oracle 11G. So lots and lots of new database performance. And of course, as PowerSchool customers, you get all of this at no cost. So let's look at what that really translates to in a few metrics. We've cut the number of browser to server requests literally in half. That means a lot less chatter on your networks. And that means a lot better performance on networks that are loaded, like the kind you have in your schools. We have transaction rates across the system that are noticeably improved. And keep in mind, these are all on the same box. So if you took the box you have today with PowerSchool 6 and put 7 on it, you're going to see these performance gains without doing anything else. So across the board, we're seeing transaction rates improve. That translates to real things that you're really trying to do getting better. So taking attendance, on average, 20% faster. Every teacher is going to notice this. Every person who works in the front office is going to notice this. Reports run faster, some of them dramatically faster. For example, the ADM, ADA report runs in about half the time it ran before. A lot of these reports, by the time you go to the report queue, they're already done. So we're really excited about this. We wanted to make sure, as we did a change like this, that we gave it the attention and testing that it needs. And in fact, we had more testers on this release than we had engineers. We actually doubled the size of our testing team, but I'll talk more about that in a minute.